Actually, my role in the talk is actually uh, uh, what is the role of a surgeon in the non-operative management uh, for rectal cancer. So mainly, uh, so the almost more than 30% of the patient who receive total neoadjuvant therapy uh, actually achieve the clinical complete response in uh, after. Uh, sorry, can I say it again? So, okay. So the take-home message. So my role, my talk is on uh, non-operative management. Uh, for rectal cancer, especially focusing on the role of a surgeon. And uh, uh, there are a couple of important points uh, from the surgical viewpoint. Uh, first is uh, how to diagnose accurately uh, the clinical complete response after uh, total neoadjuvant therapy in rectal cancer. Uh, approximately uh, 30 to 40 percent of the patient who received the total neoadjuvant therapy actually uh, achieved the complete response. And uh, this is quite a comprehensive uh, multidisciplinary diagnosis uh, by MRI, uh, clinical digital, digital rectal examination, and endoscopy. So uh, actually the surgeons are responsible mainly for digital examination and endoscope, especially in the US. And uh, these roles are quite uh, important. Uh, none of them can be missing, and uh, we should understand uh, what is the exact criteria of a clinical complete response. And uh, the second and once the clinical complete response is achieved, uh, we should take a quite close surveillance uh, for the patient because uh, approximately 20 to 25 percent of the patient uh, actually uh, develops a regrowth of the tumor. And uh, salvage surgery in time by a surgeon is a critical in order to uh, get uh, you know uh, uncompromised uh, oncologic outcome. Uh, so. Uh, how to survey uh, you know, after complete response is another important take home message, especially uh, uh, the first two years is quite important because the patient has a high, uh, very high risk of the regrowth and uh, usually every three to four months uh, the patient need to visit the surgeon's office and undergo uh, endoscope, clinic, clinical examination and MRI.